Hello crafty friends and welcome back or if you're new here my name is Laura hello and today I'm going to be unboxing setting up and talking you through some of the first projects that you can create with a Cricut Joy. I was fortunate enough to get one of these for Christmas and I'm so excited to open it up. So here it is in its box, it claims to be my new DIY best friend and I'm inclined to believe it. The first thing I noticed was just how well it's packaged. <laughs> um, there's a lot of really sturdy cardboard in there and just look, it's so tiny and so cute. So you'll take the machine out the box, it is shrink wrapped and then I panicked a little here because that's a European plug. Um, but when I lifted this piece out, I could see that there is a UK plug as well, which is great. Obviously that will depend on where you buy it. You may have a US plug, etc. And then they also give you a black sample of a Cricut Joy pen. So you want to take this little booklet section out and peel that open and inside of there it has your Cricut mat as well as some instructions. This is so simple. I was really impressed with how easy this is to set up. It explains that you should receive a sample of um, the Smart Vinyl. You also get a sample of some uh, cardstock. You get your Cricut mat, which is the green piece. And I was thinking, oh no, where's the blade? <laughs> So I decided to open this up and once I removed all of that shrink wrap I was able to flip open the Cricut Joy and the blade is already installed inside of the housing. So now it's time to actually set everything up. The instructions tell you to um, go to a particular website and that just takes you through all of the steps. You select the type of machine that you're looking to set up, you make sure it's plugged in and it is that simple. I um, had a sip of my coffee while I was waiting for the new software to download. It'll make sure that everything's up to date and you will want to either set up or log in to your Cricut account so you can use the design space. It then talks you through um, your first project. So you have to pick one of these icons. I went with the uh, bear and it will talk you through how to cut this out. There's a little video clip there showing you how to install the blade. Obviously it is already in there. And um, once that's in, you just go ahead and use the smart vinyl. Now the reason it's called smart vinyl is because you don't need a Cricut mat to run this through your machine. I love how this loads. So you just um, you just kind of push it gently through those little guides and then it will just take off and run through. It will make sure that you have enough material there to cut the project that you're looking to do. And you just communicate between um, either your phone or your computer, whichever you're deciding to use via Bluetooth with this Cricut Joy. And it is so simple. I really like that it's Bluetooth because if you have this on the go and you don't have a Wi-Fi signal, you can still communicate with it. So there, the first project has been created or the first cut, I guess. When you're running something through on the Cricut Joy, it asks you to select the material type similar to how a larger Cricut would, and that's what determines the pressure and the depth of the blade. And that's how the machine knows to just gently cut this vinyl so it doesn't even cut through the backing, it just cuts the top of the vinyl away. And then you can just weed away the rest of that excess vinyl and then I'm going to use the pen. So I wanted to test this. So I'm using the Cricut Design Space app on my phone here and I'm just typing out pen test, nothing too fancy. I just wanted to see the difference of how this works. Now you do have to go to the settings and, oh, we're adding a hot first, very important. Um, but you do have to go to the settings and change this from a cut line to a draw line. And that is how your Cricut will know that you're intending to draw these parts of your design rather than cut them. And that's really useful for when you have a design that has both cut and draw. And I'll do that a little later on so you can see how that works. So here I've got the Cricut mat. I've just peeled off the protective film. You want to make sure you keep that because you'll need to put that back on to protect your mat from any kind of dust and grime. And then you'll bring across that Cricut Joy again select your material type and then just line up the mat. There's those two little notches there and once you push it in just a little the machine will just take it away and make sure everything's lined up. Then you just want to click on the make it button on your phone or whichever application you're using and it will just draw out what it is that you've asked for. 
Now the Cricut Joy pens are perfectly sized to drop into that little housing unit. They stop at exactly the right height and they'll be held in place perfectly, but you can use other pens. I've seen many people using different pens, different markers, etc. You just have to be careful with the size and the fit and make sure that you don't let them drop too deep inside of that housing. So now I've grabbed a notebook that I have and also some uh, vinyl transfer paper. This smart vinyl is actually thick enough that I could have just picked this piece up, but I wanted to use the transfer paper so I could put this exactly where I wanted it on my notebook. This notebook is from 2019, which seems a long way ago now, um, but I still use it. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add this on there and I think it matches perfectly with the text that was already imprinted on the notebook. And I'm just going to press that vinyl in place and then peel away the transfer tape so you can see just how easy it is to customise items using vinyl. Now I of course use the smart vinyl for this project. You can use regular vinyl, you'll just have to make sure to stick it onto the transfer mat instead of running it through without a mat like we did with the smart vinyl. Okay, so now on to the second project. I'm going to make a card. So here I'm using the card mat. I did buy this as a separate item. This didn't come with the Cricut Joy. It has a protective film on it and you can place your card inside and it is slightly sticky so it will hold the front of the card in place. So again, I'm going to use the pen. This design is free on the uh, Cricut Design Space. So you can just check under free uh, projects or you could search for the word T. I don't know if it will always be free, but it's free right now. And it will ask you to first load the pen and it will draw out this uh, mug shape with a little tea bag um, kind of dangling over the side. And then it will ask you to switch to the blade. Notice that you don't eject the mat, you just change from the pen to the blade and then it will cut out the sections of this design that need to be cut. Now Cricut do sell some packs of card fronts and also card inserts that you can use for these projects but I'm just using cardstock from my stash. I have a card that's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half and it is a side fold card and then I have my insert piece which is cut to be just a quarter inch shorter on each side so it's four inches by five and a quarter. So that's that insert piece here. I'm using like a rose gold glitter and you just insert it to those little notches that have been cut out with the blade and it will create, um, I guess, the color that shows through the areas that have been cut. There are tons of designs available in the Cricut design space for really cute, fun cards. Now I decided to add a little bit more text to this. So I've gone back into the app and I've added the word your and then terrific. Now there is a typo in this. Of course, terrific isn't a real word, but still I managed to put a typo in there. So um, it is what it is. I'm dyslexic, it's the best I could do. <laughs> so I'm switching over to the pen and then I'll just let that run through. When you click on make it, it will show you a preview of your image on the mat and you just need to eyeball exactly where that goes. Now you do have a little bit more control with the larger Cricut machines because you can preview your mat and make sure everything's exactly where you want it to be. However, you are only making small projects here and it's pretty easy to eyeball. Now, if I'd created this card design myself, I would have been able to edit the design and add the text at the same time. So it would have written the text and drawn the teacup all at the same time. However, um, I used one of the free designs and then just added the text afterwards. You can see here the word your is a little high on the top of the card, but if you look at the um, image on my screen, that's exactly how I had it. Um, so I should have just dragged that down a little bit and it would maybe have been slightly better, but overall it's pretty good placement. As I mentioned, there are tons of card designs in the Cricut design space. Some are free, some you have to pay for, and you can definitely design your own as well. And I think it's really great to be able to make a card like this in literally minutes. So now for the third project, this one is a little more adventurous and it uses an SVG file that I picked up on Etsy from Paper Zen Shop. I'll include a link below. And I'm importing those SVG files. They'll all land on my mat and they're kind of one on top of each other at the moment. So I will zoom out and then just click them one by one and move them so they all have their own breathing space. 
Now you can see over on the right we've got these little warning triangles around my cuts and that is just these ones here. So that is just to tell me that it's too large for my mat. So you need to go ahead and shrink this right down until all of those warning signs have gone away. So once they've gone away, I know that these items are sized so they will fit on my mat. So I can see here exactly how each of them is going to cut out. That actual cactus shape was the largest, so it was that one that really determined the size of everything else. And it was important to resize them all together to make sure that everything keeps its same kind of scale ratio so we don't end up with a giant pot and a tiny cactus. So I grabbed the colors of cardstock that I'm going to use and I've cut them down to fit on top of my Cricut mat. And then I'll just run each of them through. What the Cricut will do is it will automatically divide your items up by color so it cuts them out of the same color cardstock. Now of course you don't have to use the colors that are on screen just because the cactus is green you could make it you know pastel pink if you wanted it to be. It will just group any items that are the same color on your design mat into the same cut. One thing that I was really impressed with with the Cricut Joy is the speed at which it cuts. Now I do have this video sped up just for, you know, the sake of not wasting your time, I guess, but it cuts really quickly. It didn't take long at all to get through each of these cuts. And once it has finished, you can unload the mat and then you can just peel away the design and add on your next color and run it through. The Cricut will automatically stop after each kind of matte design, so each of those um, color segments, and ask you to switch out the matte with your different color cardstock and then click go again and it will cut the next piece. So now I have all of my pieces cut, it's time to assemble. I've folded along the score lines and I'm just gonna attach this all together using a mixture of um, double-sided sticky tape and also some glue and just fold up this little flower part and then attach the cactus. As I mentioned, I'll have a link below to where I got this SVG file from. I'll also have a link to a couple other websites that I like to get SVG files from. And of course, you can check the Cricut store. There are tons of options in there. So overall, I am really, really impressed with the Cricut Joy. I'm so excited to be able to have this particular machine. It fits really nicely on my desk. I actually have a TikTok showing how I store this and the mats. So do check that out. I'll have a link below to my TikTok, my Instagram, all the social medias. But if you've got a Cricut Joy, I would encourage you to just take it out the box and have a go. I think you'll be really surprised how easy it is to use. And do let me know in the comments below if there's anything else Cricut related that you would like to see. Now, if you have stayed to the end of the video and you haven't already subscribed, you can go ahead and click on the subscribe button and ring the bell if you wish to be notified when I post new videos. That is all for me today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.